For years, astronomers have tracked one of the brightest, most mysterious stars in the night sky, Betelgeuse, a red supergiant on the brink of collapse. They warned it was coming, they just never knew when. Now the James Webb Space Telescope has captured something no one was certain we would ever see, the moment Betelgeuse began to explode. A stellar death, a cosmic shockwave, a window into the raw power of the universe itself. This isn't just another deep space discovery, it is a once-in-a-lifetime event, the closest supernova humanity has ever recorded, and what Webb witnessed has changed everything. Betelgeuse, perched on the shoulder of the Orion constellation, is no ordinary star. It is a red supergiant, more than 700 times the size of our sun, and about 20 times as massive. For decades, scientists have known it was unstable, swelling, dimming, erupting. In 2019, it suddenly faded, sparking worldwide speculation. Was this the final act? Was it going supernova? Now, with Webb's precision, the mystery has only deepened. For the first time, we are seeing real-time signs of a star in collapse, massive bursts of energy, shifting surface currents, and magnetic fields twisting into chaos. Betelgeuse is not just dying, it is transforming before our eyes. For months, the James Webb Space Telescope has locked its infrared gaze on Betelgeuse, peering into layers no other observatory has ever revealed. Now the data is in, and it is breathtaking. We see convective bubbles the size of Jupiter bursting at its surface. We trace plumes of hot gas streaming into space at unimaginable speed. Hidden in its light, a signature shockwave ripples through the star's outer layers. For the first time in history, astronomers are watching the true physics of a star tearing itself apart. This is no simulation. This is the real-time anatomy of a supernova, unfolding just 642 light-years away. Unlike supernovae in distant galaxies, Betelgeuse is close, cosmically speaking. When it reaches peak, its light could shine even in the day, brighter than the full moon. More importantly, its proximity offers a once-in-a-generation chance to study a dying star up close, to see how its core collapses, how carbon and oxygen are forged, how the shockwave reshapes its surroundings. What Webb captured is more than a death. It is the very process that creates the ingredients for life itself, the same elements that built Earth and us. We are watching our cosmic ancestry in reverse. The explosion of Betelgeuse is more than spectacle. It is a key, unlocking the hidden processes behind galaxy formation, planetary systems, and the eternal cycle of matter in the universe. With Webb's advanced instruments, we can model the final stages of stellar evolution with unmatched detail. We can finally see what happens inside a star as it dies, and perhaps learn which signs to seek in others, predicting supernovae long before they erupt. This is not just science. It is revelation. A moment when humanity stared into the abyss of time, and the abyss answered with light. Betelgeuse's collapse is far from a single event. Its shock waves ripple across light years, disturbing the surrounding interstellar medium. Webb has already detected the first tremors, high energy particles racing outward, heating gas clouds and reshaping the star's dust halo. And there is something else, a gravitational tremor. Even at 642 light years, the collapse may have sent out gravitational waves, the kind we are only beginning to detect. If confirmed, it would be the first time a visible supernova has been directly tied to gravitational data, rewriting what we know about the relationship between light, matter, and space-time. As Betelgeuse implodes, the question rises. What will remain? A neutron star? A black hole? Or something stranger? Early web data hints the collapse may be uneven, with magnetic disruptions, plasma voids, 
and an asymmetric fallback where some matter is pulled inward instead of expelled. Some astrophysicists whisper of a transitional object, something between a neutron star and a black hole, long theorized but never observed. If Webb has caught such a thing in motion, it would be the first proof of a new class of cosmic object. With a star exploding this close, people naturally ask, are we in danger? The short answer, no. Betelgeuse is too far to harm Earth. But the longer truth is more complex. Its death will unleash high-energy particles, gamma rays, and powerful electromagnetic bursts, rippling through cosmic dust, touching other star systems, and perhaps altering the way light from deep space reaches us. For now, Webb is tracking the speed and spread of this wave. Even if Earth is safe, our window on the universe may subtly change forever. Betelgeuse is vast, ancient, fierce, and now dying. A reminder that even the brightest lights in our sky have an end. What Webb recorded is not just the death of a star. It is a cosmic mirror. Everything that lives must end. And in that ending, new elements are born. New stars will rise from Betelgeuse's ashes. New worlds will take shape in the chaos it leaves behind. This is not destruction. This is renewal, written on a cosmic scale. And we were here to witness it. Among Webb's data, scientists found something unexpected. Rare elements in the ejected debris. Betelgeuse is releasing not just carbon, oxygen, and iron, but rare metals like technetium and yttrium, forged only in the most extreme stellar furnaces. Why does this matter? Because their ratios let scientists trace the flow of matter across our galaxy, from the hearts of dying stars, to the dust that builds planets, to the atoms within us. Webb isn't just recording an explosion. It is decoding the chemistry of how life becomes possible. In its final act, Betelgeuse is telling a story that began long before Earth existed. Betelgeuse will never return. Its place in Orion will become an expanding veil of glowing gas and dust. But its death is not an ending. It is a gift. A gift of knowledge, of elements, of perspective. A reminder that our sun, too, will one day fade that even the most brilliant lights have a final act. And yet from that ending will come the blueprint for all that follows. Because without supernovae, there are no planets, no oceans, no life. And now, thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, we have seen the cycle, from collapse to creation. In the cold silence of space, 642 light years from Earth, a star's life has ended, not with a whisper, but with a final roaring blaze that traveled through the dark for centuries to reach us. Thanks to Webb, we didn't just witness it, we understood it. We saw the warning signs, the collapse, the detonation, not as myth, not as metaphor, but as fact. Betelgeuse did not die in vain. In its last breath, it gave us answers older than humankind, where elements come from, how stars are born and die, and what might await our own sun. In that fading red light, Webb captured more than a supernova. It captured our origin and a glimpse of our destiny.